accettato il mio, il nostro invito. E siamo tanti. How many people gathered in Rome last Saturday to show their support for Silvio Berlusconi? Over one million, according to the organisers, a more modest 150,000, said the police. Berlusconi's supporters came from all over Italy to hear the words of their hero, who's been losing ground in the opinion polls. And on that special day, there was a very unusual political slogan. L'amore vince sempre Love always wins over envy and hatred. It was a carefully crafted charm operation by the media mogul turned Prime Minister. Vote for us, he said. It's the way to defend your freedom. He has such charisma. He provokes such fascination that some people find hard to understand. You can hate him, you can despise him, but he's exceptional. To fight back the way he has done against everything is admirable. He loves Italy. He's not someone who believes in fantasy. He is down to earth, and that's why we love him. The physical assault Berlusconi suffered last December reinforced his image of a persecuted man. For months now, he's been denouncing the left-wing opposition, the press and mostly the magistrates, who are prosecuting him for corruption and tax evasion. According to the Prime Minister, these are subversive attacks against him and even worse against all Italians. But in this period of economic crisis, voters have other priorities. The number of disappointed right-wing voters is growing. To focus everything on the fact that he's a persecuted man, a victim of the system, the way he's doing, gives him little credibility and in a way portrays him as a little ridiculous. On the other side, it's also true, and everybody realises it, that the opposition only does opposition by attacking his character. Berlusconi claims that he still has the support of more than 60% of Italians, but most of the independent opinion polls show that that figure is about 20 points lower. Most of the evidence shows that he is losing popularity, but not because of his sex life and not because of alleged corruption and pressure on the media. He's losing ground because he's not succeeding in, in getting things done. There has been a lack of dealing with, with unemployment, which is growing. This is the major problem. This weekend's regional elections are a real nationwide test of Berlusconi's popularity and whether he can keep his large majority united.